Good day guys, I am Booger Z, and today we are talking about the Comica VM30 microphone that is, in my opinion, hands down, the best and most versatile microphone to create content with. Whether you live stream or record from your desk or you're creating content while you're out and about, this microphone sounds good in any environment. Speaking of which, I'm recording this video from top to bottom with this mic. Actually, I've been using it and testing it for the past couple of months during my live streams and my videos. Company loves free promos, don't they? This is the reason why I thoroughly test all of the products that I get before making a video. I want to give credit where credit is due and or give constructive criticism so products can be improved and it's even a bigger winner for us, the customers. If you want to pick up this mic, I will, I will add an Amazon affiliate link down below. No, this video is not sponsored by Comica, nor they're even aware that I'm making this video in the first place. But hey, that's what I do, guys. I review products on top of, you know, content creation, live streaming, and gaming. Let's have a look at what's in the box, and then we'll talk more about this mic. Yeah, let's have a look at what's in the box. Actually, I want to mention that the case is really, really well built, and it's easy to carry. Very, very good material. We have a 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRS audio cable, which is good to plug in into a DSLR camera. A 3.5 millimeter TRRS, TRRS audio cable, which is good to plug in into a smartphone instead. Shock mount. Shock mount, cool shoe. It's really good to attach to the SLR camera. Microphone clip. It is great for desk mounting. That's how I have it set it up. With the microphone clip. Two-in-one charging and output audio cable. Windscreen and wind muff. It's good if you have a windy environment around. I usually keep the windscreen on anyway, even just with the fan on top of my head and the aircon. But the wind muff is a must if you record outside. Then you got the receiver and the microphone itself. On the receiver, you have the on and off button with mute unmute, gain, plus and minus, audio jack out, and headphones in for monitoring. Let's talk more about the start of the show, the microphone. This is a wireless, that's right, wireless, no cables whatsoever. Of course, you know, just, you got to charge it from time to time. The battery doesn't last forever, unfortunately, <laughs> at least not yet. This is a wireless shotgun mic with a super cardioid audio partner. What does that mean? It means that it picks up really well the sound coming directly from the top of the microphone. As you can see, I'm talking into the top of the microphone, but rejects the sounds from the sides and the back. I mean, a bit from the side but mostly rejects it from the back. How's that good for gamers? Well, don't we all use keyboard when we play games and mouse? That clickiness, that bad clickiness, that's one way to take care of it. <laughs> it has a USB-C port for charging and as output. It's wireless. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack output on and off pairing button, a 75 
and 150 hertz low cut filter modules, high frequency boost, OLED screen for monitoring and visual operation, built in rechargeable lithium battery with the battery life up to 38 hours in wide mode and up to 14 hours in wireless mode. At least this is what they advertise. But to be honest, I think the longest that I've seen the battery last so far is about 10 hours in wireless mode, which is still very, very impressive. Gain control knob at the bottom of it, an intelligent auto sensing, 3.5 millimeter output and power switch, which means it automatically turns on and off with your DSLR camera. What are your thoughts on this microphone? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, I'm sure you, you would like to watch this video next. It will be worth it. I will see you there. Huru mates.